The Little Red Nose Nan Nan, a clever and resourceful little monkey, had a big problem he had a bright red nose that looked like a ripe strawberry from a distance. Nan Nan was endlessly troubled by his red nose. He tried all sorts of remedies, creams, and lotions, but nothing seemed to work. Regardless of whether it was spring, summer, autumn, or winter, Nan Nan always wore a large mask that tightly covered his red nose. When the time came to start kindergarten, all his friends joyfully went with their parents to enroll, while Nan Nan hid in his room. Eventually, with the coaxing of his parents, Nan Nan reluctantly stepped into the kindergarten. He still had a big mask on his face, and a long scarf wrapped around his neck. Nan Nan's appearance was indeed peculiar. His classmates gathered around him, and even their teacher, Miss Goat, noticed it. She approached Nan Nan and asked, Nan Nan, why are you wearing a scarf on such a hot day? Let me help you take it off, okay? No, no, Nan Nan quickly shook his head. I'm sick, ah, where do you feel unwell? Nowhere, Nan Nan mumbled. Nan Nan, please tell me if something is wrong. Don't hide it from me. Reluctantly, Nan Nan confessed, I have a red nose, and I'm afraid people will make fun of me. I see, Miss Goat said gently, I believe it's a lovely little nose, and we'll all like it. But, Nan Nan hesitated, my nose is very, very red. That's all right, Miss Goat said with a smile. It's a unique and adorable little nose. We will all appreciate it. Nan Nan touched his nose in disbelief, and to his surprise, he heard no laughter from his classmates. He lifted his head, and there was Miss Goat, smiling kindly, and his classmates were also looking at him with smiles. What a cute little nose, Miss Goat exclaimed, it looks just like a small stamp. Nan Nan, little squirrel ran over, holding a piece of paper and ink, and said sheepishly, would you be willing to make a big apple print for me? Nan Nan was amazed and touched his nose, barely believing his ears. Go ahead, Miss Goat encouraged Nan Nan. Your red nose is quite versatile. Nan Nan lowered his head and, indeed, imprinted a big apple on the paper, round and bright red, making it look good enough to take a bite. Nan Nan, Nan Nan. One by one, his friends handed him their paper, saying, Help me print a red balloon, print a red strawberry, print a red sun. Nan Nan was overjoyed. He made print after print, and in the end, he printed a beautiful red flower that he gave to their kind-hearted teacher, Miss Goat. Nan Nan had never expected that his red nose could bring him such happiness and joy. This story promotes the idea that our unique qualities should be celebrated and can bring happiness to ourselves and others. Welcome to our YouTube channel Find More Story for Kids.